Hey, what up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you. Normally, every night before a WWE pay per view, we host the John Cena Victory Party, uh, which will be going down the night after. Uh, you know, that, that pay-per-view that is going to be happening. Um, it is supposed to be, you know, just raining in. John Cena is going to win this match. John Cena has to win this match. These are the reasons why. This is where it's going to. But tonight, it all changes. Tonight, we host our first Kevin Owens victory party. Kevin Owens has to win this match. This match comes down to a big thing for, for him. It goes back to the new um, talent initiative that Teddy Long would bring to uh, SmackDown and ECW, uh, bringing in big stars uh, like with Bobby Lashley, Mr. Kennedy, um, lots of guys like this debuted during Teddy Long's new talent initiative. And lately, with Triple H running NXT and signing up the biggest and baddest talents from all around the world and bringing them to the Performance Center, Kevin Owens Owens has basically gone from being signed uh, to the uh, WWE Performance Center in December to debuting um, in WWE on um, Monday Night Raw in the month of May. I mean, this is the quickest turnaround that anyone's ever seen. You know, back in the days of, you know, ECW and WCW, WWE, um, the Monday Night War era that everybody talks about. You know, normally some guy's contract would end. They would be on Nitro one week or they might even be on the pay-per-view on a Sunday. And then the next day... They would be on Monday Night Raw. They would be on Nitro. Um, you know, guys would jump back and forth. I don't think anybody jumped back and forth as much as Jeff Jarrett during the Monday Night War time. I mean, this guy was in, in WWF, and then he was in WCW. Back in WWF, he was, like, signing these one-year deals just so we can bounce back and forth, whether if he was a horseman or whether he was trying to get a feud with Stone Cold Steve Austin off the ground um, on his first night there. It, it just was bouncing back and forth. You know, with Kevin Steen, I apologize. I'm going to screw this up a lot, and I think I'm going to screw it up the whole time he's ever there. With Kevin Owens, with ben, Finn Balor, um, with Neville, uh, with Sami Zayn, once he gets over his injury and he gets uh, brought up to the main roster, um, if, if they're, that's what they're going to do with him, um, you know, these guys need to win matches and they need to be put onto the map. Kevin Owens is going to be debuting against the biggest star of this era. I mean, when Neville came in and he debuted the night after WrestleMania on Monday Night Raw, he got a match against Curtis Axel. Um, you know, Kevin Owens being put on the main roster, getting his first match on WWE pay-per-view on, you know, what is a big night for the WWE Network because it's the Elimination Chamber. It's exclusive to the WWE, WWE Network. It is um, wrestling fans probably going on the website and signing up for it right now, knowing that they don't want to miss this show and it's going to be worth $10 to see this. Just, just think about this. If you have a WWE in the month of May, uh, you got to see Payback. You got to see the NXT pay-per-view, and now you get to see Elimination Chamber, as well as, um, you know, if you had it just a few weeks before then, during the same month, you were able to see King of the Ring. This was a jam-packed month, full of specials, uh, definitely well worth the money. Um, you know, right after this, we're, in a couple of days, we're going to be getting a Stone Cold Steve Austin, Paul Heyman interview on Monday Night Raw. Um, uh, that That's just right up around the corner. Um, so, awesome. Uh, but, I mean... Kevin Owens has to win this match. The United States Championship isn't on the line. The NXT Championship is on, on isn't on the line. But Kevin Owens, every guy that he stepped in the ring with, um, you know, whether it was C.J. Parker in his debut, whether it was Sami Zayn winning the NXT Championship, whether it was Sami Zayn congratulating him on winning the NXT Championship on the night he makes his debut. Um, He's destroyed him and laid him out. Now, you know, John Cena is a guy that doesn't get knocked down all that often. But John Cena needs to get his ass kicked tomorrow. You know, whether if it's before, during, or after the match, we need to see Cena take an ass kicking like we've never seen before. Kevin Owens is a different kind of monster. Uh, normally, when guys are brought up to the main roster, um, you know, we see guys that have, you know, these gimmicks, that whether they were, you know, Put together by some mad scientist, or they got struck by lightning, or if they lived in a swamp, or they you know, they've came from India. Um, we've seen all sorts of guys be brought into the WWE, and you know to go up against the the, the main main guys, whether if it's Hulk Hogan, whether if it's uh, you know John Cena. We've seen all the gimmicks, and sometimes there's guys that get brought to the main roster, and you see them getting wins, 
you know, week after week on Monday Night Raw, and you know, this guy's gonna get fast tracked, he's gonna get a match against John Cena, and it's gonna be done for. So many guys, Stinsky, um, you know, the, the great Kali was a little bit like that, um, and it just, you know, so many guys we saw just pushed up to the top, only to, to have a match against Cena, make a little bit of money, and then next thing you know, they're gone, and they're out of the WWE because, you know, Vince, you know, had a new toy, played with them, got tired of it, and then just stuck it in the back of the pack with everybody else. Now, Kevin Owens is, is, is one of the guys that's handpicked by Triple H, um, and he's going to be part of this special crew. Like I, I talked about Sami Zayn, who's injured right now. Looked like he was going to be getting his jump up to the main roster. Finn Balor is going to be pushed up there. Um, we see Neville. He's, he's going to be on this pay-per-view going up against Bo Dallas. These guys need to get wins because they need to be serious about the future of the WWE. Um, you know, they, they've got Dean Ambrose. They've got Roman Reigns. They've got Seth Rollins. But... When we're talking about some of the best times in wrestling, there wasn't one guy like there was John Cena. That this is why a lot of people are getting sick of wrestling, and and they're and they're getting you know to the point where they've just turned off Monday Night Raw, they have turned off SmackDown, um, and they don't really care about it as much as they used to because John Cena has been our guy ever since WrestleMania twenty twenty one at guaranteed. So ten years. This guy's been in the run on top. I mean, that's longer than Hogan had, that's longer than The Rock had, that's longer than Austin had, it's longer than anybody else. And, you know, they've already got these three guys, uh, you know, with Ambrose, with Rollins, and Reigns, that could be big stars. Um, you know, they, they, they tried their best with Reigns, and everybody turned on him. It seems like he's, he's you know, winning that crowd back over again. Ambrose seems to be a guy that I don't really think is going to be champion ever, but, you know, he's got a lot of fans. Um, Rollins definitely got that belt. that has been running with it very, very well. But, you know, adding more guys to the fire is going to be like what it was, you know, you know, in the Attitude Era, you had Rock, you had Taker, you had Stone Cold Steve Austin, you had Triple H. Um, all of these guys were at the top and they could take the ball and they could run with it. And, it's, and it needs to be like that again. It's sort of like having an elimination chamber match, like, this one's these ones are kind of jokes because honestly when you look at it the Intercontinental Championship you got Wade Barrett um you got our truth um you got you got guys that just haven't even you know won matches this year you've got Rusev who's lost three matches in a row and all of a sudden they're the number one contender to be you know for the Intercontinental Championship or you got the tag team one which is the first one they've ever done for the tag team title pretty cool to see this many guys inside the chamber at once um. I don't want to shit on it when we haven't seen it because more than likely it's pretty going to be going to be a pretty good match. But you know, when it comes down to it, more than likely the reason why we didn't get an elimination chamber match was because they didn't have enough guys that were going to be able to fill it that were going to be continuous like number one contenders that were really on it. But you get all of these guys pushed up to the main roster, you get them added into these big feuds, and it's going to be awesome. Kevin Owens is one of these guys who has to come out there, has to hit the ball. He has to hit the ground running. He has to get this win against John Cena, and he has to really, really make it happen. So this is the John Cena, you know, I guess it's going to be the John Cena loss party because it's all about Kevin Owens. I think Kevin Owens has to get this win tomorrow, and I think Kevin Owens is going to get it, and he's going to have to look really, really strong. I didn't really want to say looking strong because now it looks like a joke, but... He needs to be looking like he's one of the baddest motherfuckers on the planet. You know, he's not a monster. He's just a normal guy. He's a prize fighter. He likes to go out there. And um, it, it might even be that he doesn't even like to fight. Maybe he just knows that he has to fight. And that's how he makes money. Because he wants a better life for his children. He wants a better life for his wife. And he, don't, he wants a better life for him. So, you know, that's how you become WWE champion. is by beating guys up. And John Cena is the best way to leapfrog your way to the front of the line.